since the end of the first video where we built the revision one of the juice box power supply it's been on a little field trip to the Cambridge Centre for Computing History and it spent all day running my Amiga 600 with no issues whatsoever. And surprising to me, the unit actually ran cooler at Cambridge than it did when testing on my bench. It even flawlessly powered up an Amiga 500 with an attached GVP hard drive. The hard drive does contain a blue SCSI, but it's powered directly from the Amiga. I did get some comments on the previous video that I should tear down this unit and check for expanding capacitors or components that were showing signs of stress. Though I personally feel that's unlikely, let's tear it down anyway. Everything in here is exactly as it was the day I put it in the case. Absolutely pristine, and working perfectly. I took the opportunity to compare the size difference between a PowerShark and my little orange case. In terms of inconvenience on your desktop, I don't think there's a lot in it. So now revision 2 has arrived, this solves some of the cosmetic issues and functional issues. The first being this has PCB end caps for the case. This means that the switch mounting and the cable management are much tidier and switches a few things around for a better quality of life and a better installation in the case. It also fixes the footprint size for capacitors. The build process is basically the same, so we'll speed through that relatively quickly. My test power on with tweezers was a little more sparky than I expected. Thanks to Santa Claus bringing me an ultrasonic cleaner for Christmas, my toothbrush gets a well-deserved rest. And this project wouldn't have been possible without PCBWay's fantastic prototype PCB manufacturing. They can provide prototype PCBs for as little as $5, and they can also assemble them for you. They also provide other services like 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and CNC machining. All of this is available at pcbway.com. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
Everything appears to be functioning perfectly. Runs the Amiga 600, no problem. I have been toying with some different screws. Since the first video, there's been several people who showed some interest in purchasing a kit. Unfortunately, at that point, there was nothing really available, and there were still some kinks to iron out the project. I've teamed up with Flame Lily to do just that. We'll be looking to provide kits that have PCBs with all the surface mount components already fitted, meaning that all you have to do is put it in the case, fit the end caps, solder up your switch and cables, and you're good to go. Everything you need to know will be in the description. And if you've found any part of this video entertaining or informative, then please click like and consider subscribing to the channel. In the meantime, why don't you check this out next?